My name is Caleb Barnes. Welcome to another edition of Front Stretch 5. Auto racing is a business of entertainment, one that often intersects with Hollywood. For years, we've seen actors at NASCAR races. This is Daytona! NASCAR drivers make cameos in Hollywood films and shows. I'm away, Frenchy boy. Race cars sponsored by movies and even movies about racing. For today's episode, however, we're going to talk about five fictional paint schemes that sprung to life during a points-paying NASCAR event. Number one, Cars Paint Schemes. Disney's animated Cars trilogy has inspired a number of real-life NASCAR schemes. To promote the release of Cars 3 in 2017, a Lightning McQueen livery appeared on the race cars of Clint Boyer at Sonoma, Chris Buescher in the Coke 600, and most notably, Kyle Larson in his win at Michigan. However, the first appearance of the Cars-inspired scheme came over a decade before on the 96 car driven by Tony Raines in the 2006 Coke 600. This car and driver did not share the same fate as Kyle Larson in 2017, however, as Raines would retire from the race early, finishing 39th. Number 2. Days of Thunder Cars The NASCAR-inspired movie Days of Thunder was released in June of 1990, featuring drivers Cole Trickle, Rowdy Burns, and Russ Wheeler. While these drivers were fictional, their cars were not. These cars were painted up for the movies, and some of them even fitted with cameras, and they drove in four real races, even competing in some. At Phoenix in 1989, Bobby Hamilton and Greg Sachs qualified for the race. Hamilton actually qualified fifth, doing so well that they took the cameras out of his car, and then Hamilton led a lap in that race, but an engine failure ended his day. In 1990, Greg Sachs drove again, this time at the Bush Clash in Daytona, finishing second to Ken Schrader in the Clash. In the 1990 Daytona 500, it was a big story of the filming of Days of Thunder, and Bobby Hamilton and Tommy Ellis drove two unscored cars. They're going to run 100 miles and then pull up. Finally, at Darlington, Sachs and Hutt Strickland drove two more movie entries, but both cars were parked after Sachs had a mechanical failure in the middle of the race. Number 3. The Fake Steak Car A similar concept occurred in 2020. In filming for Kevin James' Netflix show The Crew, Spire Motorsports changed the 77 to the 74 for the Michigan doubleheader. Driven by Reed Sorensen in both races, the Spire 77 transformed into the Bobby Spencer Racing 74 car sponsored by a vegan group called Fake Steak. Sorensen finished 30th and 31st in the two events. Number 4. Kurt Busch in 2012 driving the Me car. Talladega Nights has had its share of movie schemes translate onto the racetrack. One of the coolest movie to track moments came in the spring of 2016. For much of the season, Kurt Busch, driving for Phoenix Racing, had no sponsors for the race at Talladega. Instead of running their typical red and white unsponsored look, the team took a scene from the movie and painted the car black, red, and dark yellow. The car had a cougar on the hood and the word Me. In this car, Kurt Busch led four laps and finished the race 20th. New leader, been waiting all day to say this, it's Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I'm going fast. Mama. Look at me, mama. Yeah, they must have told him the Cougar was in the car. How many times have we seen that movie? At least 15. Leader, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Number five, Kyle Petty, Mel Yellow. Now, I know we already went over the Days of Thunder situation, but after the movie released in 1990, one of the movie car sponsors jumped to a real car in 1991 when Mel Yellow teamed up with Kyle Petty. Unlike the other schemes mentioned so far, this deal lasted four seasons through 1994. Every year, Petty's number 42 Pontiac carried colors identical to the 51 car from the movie. From 1991 to 1993, Kyle Petty finished fifth in the standings twice and won four races, twice at Rockingham, once at Watkins Glen, and once at Pocono. Now that's all for today's edition at Front Stretch 5. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment some of your favorite movie-inspired paint schemes. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit FrontStretch.com for more racing content.